My family and my, and my people, I was like, you know, he, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit there and, you know, let him try to take, you know, get momentum of the fight. So every time, every time he had a question, I had an answer for him. You know, when, when a fight is just close, you gotta figure the local guy, the, the, the Olympian, the guy with the pedigree is gonna get the benefit of the doubt, particularly at home. And, and I think from his standpoint, I said to him, and, and like, can I look, I, 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 I'm not gonna, I was screaming and yelling at the end of the fight because I didn't like the referee. But like I'm not in terms of the decision, it wasn't like it was a robbery. It's just like it was a it was a close fight. But one thing I think he accomplished is that he shows he belongs with the best, and he's one of them. So. Marcus, do you agree with that statement? Uh, not necessarily. But everybody's entitled to their own opinion. I won the fight. I clearly won it. I won the first five rounds. Sip straight. And uh, when he caught me with that, when he caught me with the with that right hand in the six, I felt like that round was even because I felt like I was winning up until that point. So I mean, everyone's entitled to their own, to their own opinion, and uh, it's boxing and it's what it is. Would you fight a ten round rematch with it? He was running out of gas. He kept holding. Damn right, I would. It was supposed to be. Uh, he kept holding. That's another thing. The referee should have took a pointer off. You were holding too. You kept every time I punched. You kept reaching in and holding me. You were okay, if you're a real fighter, the, the, the fans, the fans love the fight. This could be one shippy rematch. The fans love the fight. If his hometown was booing him, why not give a rematch if you're a real fighter? I hear you. Yes well, or no? Yes or no? I'm moving forward. Yes or no? I don't need you no more. Exactly. I clearly beat you. Olympian. And I know he's an Olympian. He's an Olympian. He's got how many fights? I know in my heart I beat you. He's an Olympian. He's got so many fights. I'm amateur. I got like 20 fights, something. And I came here and beat you in your hometown. In your hometown. You beat me in my hometown. Yeah, your crowd was booing you. Listen, if you're a real fighter, rematch. If you're a real fighter, you know you know you're not going to get a rematch. If you're a real fighter, you know you know you're not. If you're a real fighter, you know you know you not. You didn't say I won that fight after the fight. No. You already know what time it is. I beat you. Did the first round, did the first round count? Be honest. Listen, man. Be I honest. Didn't know you were down, so I hit you. That should have been a point. Yeah, was, I, 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 got, I, I got a feeling, and here's my feeling. He ain't going to lose anytime soon, and he ain't going to lose anytime soon. And I think somewhere down the line, there's going to be a rematch. What's that? And it ain't going to be in the next fight. But somewhere down the line, there's going to be a rematch, and I want to promote the fucking thing. Let's go. Hot Rod, Chris Carr here with a last call in Fight City. You were a huge undergrad dog when we to this fight. I know you're very upset. Do you feel if it was a ten round fight that we'd be saying you're a you're a new champ, you're a new undefeated guy and Brown is the guy with his first loss? Yes, he said it himself. The first five rounds started slow. I kept I kept picking it up. He kept holding. He uh, kept You ran out of gas too in that boss. What are you mm -hmm. saying? So you just told yourself you're out of gas. I didn't run out of, out of gas. I kept chasing you. You kept holding. You chase me. I was just prove me wrong and knock me out the next I fight. You couldn't get around my jab if, if you I, wanted if I, to. If, Plain and simple. Look at your eye. Take your glasses off. You, did you help on me? Did you help on me? No, I did not. You guys got any doubts some that somewhere down the line this is happening again? <laughs> hey, when you watch the fight, you're going to see it's a headbutt. This is freaking great. <laughs> Marcus, in the build-up to this fight, I don't even need to be sitting up here right you, now. You did say that it wasn't upsetting you, but there was some a sense of agitation that people were comparing him to you and putting him on your level. Now with the fight taking place, now with the knockdowns, is he on your level now? He's all right. I'm all right, hey, but I'm not worried about you, bro. I'm not worried about you. Did you hurt me? Look what I got over here. Did you hurt me? Look. That's supposed to be mine, yeah. That's supposed to be mine. You don't have it, though. No, I don't have that. I don't have a better one. Hot Rod, you're here about to say this is more personal for you. This is a fight that just really bothered him. Yeah, it did. No, what was the question again? I didn't hear. I'm sorry. No, it really did bother me because even the fans, the fans, they told they they're going. They can even tell by the fans who really won. He's just I don't know what's up. What's up? I don't know. Right here, Marcus. Hey, Marcus. Uh, congrats on the win. What do you think went wrong after the knockdown? Because you, you seem to be kind of hurt in there, from, at least from my standpoint. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, it's boxing. I got caught, but I I got right back on my bike, bike and I was jabbing the crap out of him. He exactly. still couldn't get around it. Running. I just that. He still couldn't get around it. Yeah, and I ran out of gas. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He got. He had his running shoes. But you around. couldn't. But you couldn't find yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Question for both of you guys. I, I know you. Have, I, you, I dropped you twice. Boss, I'm not worried about you. Right. Question for both of you guys. Um, I'm not how, how does it affect? How does it affect a fighter and an athlete when you're told at the last minute that your fight's not ten to eight rounds? 
So that's your mindset. Uh, we were, we were ready for ten, so I was ready. I was ready for whatever, and I thought the Cunningham fight was gonna, you know, they, they everybody came in like, oh, they're ready to fight. About when, when the Cunningham fight went the, went the distance. It was, which by the way is a tribute to the fucking balls and career of Steve Cunningham, who's a fucking man. Um, when that went the distance, this had to be an eight rounder, and then that was it. We knew it going in, we both knew it going in, and nobody got more advantage or disadvantage than the other. Like, it's, it sucks. You know, if you're a fighter and like, you think you might be going 10 and you have to go eight, you don't like that. But, but there would, you like to be on NBC in prime time. My same question for you, because you know, it looked like he was going to knock out Cunningham for a while, so if I was one of you guys, I would think, oh, it's going to be a 10-rounder, and then I think it would have uh, I mean, it really, it really bothered me, you know, it was an 8 10 because I had a game plan, but I felt like if it was a 10 round, I was picking up, and I think believe I would have won clearly. What was your game plan? Question for you, Marcus. <laughs> Joseph Correa, Front Proof Media. But wait. When, when Hop. Hot Rod hit you and hurt you. Uh, uh, I, I hit him and hurt him a couple of times too. <laughs> <laughs> There's a question. There's not one sided. Okay, so I'll, I'll change it up. When you hit him with your best stuff and couldn't hurt shot. him, what was going through your mind at that point when you gave him your best and he didn't go away? Uh, uh, you've dropped, you stopped a lot of people with, with similar shots. It seemed like he took your shots well. What was going through your mind? Nothing. This is boxing. Just stick to the game plan, move away from his right hand that he caught me with the, that one time, and that's it. But as you can see, you I guess all you saw was just him getting that one knockdown. No, I, I, I think you, you both did well. As Lou mentioned, you, you both are champions. Um, you both put on a great performance. But um, when he hurt you, what was going through your mind? Did, did Nothing. You... This is boxing. Get back up. Keep your composure and do what you got to do. And how would you rate your performance tonight? Um, I'm disappointed in myself. That's how I am as an athlete. But I know within my heart I didn't lose. I'm just mad that I didn't perform up to my skill level that I know I can do. And as a fighter, you know within your heart if you lost or not. And I did not. This kid didn't beat me. Plain and simple. He did not beat me. One more right here. And Marcus. You know, given that you were a sizable favorite going into the fight, mm -hmm. most people thought the fight could have won either way. Mm -hmm. um, this is probably going to hurt your stock going forward until you fight again. Yeah. Um, who do you think you need to fight or beat to, to get rid of this performance? Uh, okay. I'm not really worried about who I need to fight. Whoever I wait him and called me and tell me I need to fight, that's what we're going to do. You know, when you look at the 175 pound division, if you're like a light heavyweight, it's a good time to be a light heavyweight. Mm -hmm. Because there's some very good guys, and then they ain't that much. And these two are both two of the better, of the, be, uh, of the top notch of what's coming up. And, you know, he's disappointed in himself, I'm guessing, and I already know, I was. I talked to him before, he's disappointed in himself. Because he, he, he thought he started like shit. Yeah. And, but you know what, it was, it was compelling. I mean, they both could have done better, but it was, but like somewhere down the line, they're gonna meet again, I think. But, but in the meantime, there ain't a lot of light heavyweights that's going to beat either one of these guys. So, and, so they're not going to fight each other next? Do no. Do no. really, you think this is a thing that more than, is, are these guys ready for someone like Don Stevenson, or is that a ways away? you got to ask them. I, I think they probably both, like, there's no, I mean, I don't think they're going to fight a Don Stevenson next. No, like, I'm not saying next. No, I mean, are they ready next? I don't know. I don't think so, probably, but that's my opinion. I'm only a fucking promoter. What do I know? But, like, I, you know, I, I think that they'll go on and, and fight, you know, contenders in the light heavyweight division and, and, and when you look at the light heavyweight division like I said they're, they're you know most they've already they're, there's a reason that he's undefeated and, the, and there's a reason that, that he was undefeated coming into tonight and he thinks he won tonight. Isn't, isn't the winner of Thomas Williams or Rodriguez a match with Marcus and the loser for Hot Rod or vice versa? I think the winner of that fight is going to want to fight the next <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, I think the winner of that fight is going to want to move on. I'd fight, I'd fight the winner of losers and two to one fight. What? <laughs> what are you saying? One more question. Last question. <laughs> Hot Rod, did Marcus ever hurt you in the fight? He hit you with a lot of clean punches. Uh, as you mentioned, you started out slow. He hit you with a lot of clean stuff. Were you ever hurt in the fight? No. Not like you. Okay. <laughs> you know what though, if he, did, if he didn't say what he's saying, he, 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 he'd think he's a punk. Because like, this was the kind of fight, it was a close fight. I'm, I'm not gonna, like, I'm not sitting here and, and, and gonna say, you know, it was a close fight. And, and he, you know what too, like from his standpoint, he, he's upset, he deserves to be upset, I think. But, he, but, 
but he's going to go home and, and, and honestly, he didn't do enough to make the judges think he won. And you know, you fight an Olympian, you fight a guy in New York who's fought a bunch of times here, and he's a really good fighter, and, and you give away some rounds, and, and this is what happens. And uh, but, but but here's the thing: this guy's still undefeated. He's going to move on to the next step, and he's and now no one knew who he was coming in tonight. And he walks out tonight, and people know who he was. So, you know, in, in, a, in, a, in a weird way, like they're both pissed off and upset, and sort of both of them should be happy. And I, and I ain't doing it. And if they're gonna trash talk each other, they're fighters. That's what they're fucking supposed to do. I'm not really mad with the decision. Okay, you know, it was his hometown. He won. Okay, but if I was in his shoes, and if he really thinks he beat me again, I would do it again. That wasn't my coach. He didn't say that. He didn't say that. He said someone to split the decision. Shit. I'm done. Ready. Can we leave? You can leave. Thank you. We can leave. We're going to bring in Errol Spence. Uh, thank, thank you, guys. Thank, thank you, guys. God bless. Guys. God bless.